guys welcome back to another vlogmas i am having a little late start to my day i woke up very late today i'm having the worst sleep schedule ever but i just got ready i have this like workout set from gymshark let me show you what it looks like it is the vital seamless in this orange color I absolutely love this color. It's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna go work out. I think I'm gonna do a full body workout and after that I need to go get my nails done because these nails are just horrendous if this focuses. Yeah, these nails are just not it so I need to get them like filled. They are literally falling apart so I need to get that done but I want to go get a workout in first because i know if i don't i'm probably not gonna get it done at all and the gyms close early today because it's saturday so i need to just go knock it out and then get ready really quickly to go to my nails appointment i don't have an appointment yet i probably need to call them and make an appointment but yeah i i just have to work out first i always forget my water so i'm gonna take that i also have like so many um like packages and i also got this fun package um in the mail so i need to open all of that well i opened them but i want to show you guys what i got but i'll probably do that either later today or tomorrow i just need to take off my jewelry these are real gold so i don't really like using them when i'm working out I know they can be fine, but I hate when I'm like holding a dumbbell and then they like hurt my knuckles and my hands. So I usually take those off. And I have this cute like jewelry box that, that I put them in. But I did make a video and I posted it already. It's on my channel. I think it was like a couple months ago. And I showed you like how I kind of organized all of my jewelry. But I love these two um, jewelry organizers. I got both of them from Amazon. And honestly, they are such lifesavers. I really like the fact that they are clear so you can kind of see everything. It helps me a lot to be able to kind of just see what I have and be able to kind of choose Versus before like I bought all this jewelry and I had it and I really never used it just because it was just kind of like stashed away but this is kind of a nice way to display them. I am gonna wear my Apple watch just to be able to track my steps for the day. I think I'm gonna put my hair up in a claw clip um, just because I kind of want it to be out of my face. My mom got me claw clips they are like the oversized ones and they're such a great claw clip because i have like so much hair and this claw clip is really good at like holding everything up but i think that's all i'm gonna do I just finished taking a shower. I just wanted to take a little shower and exfoliated and shaved as well too. So I feel very clean. I almost had a heart attack. I want to film my workout for today for you. And I filmed it in one of the studios at the gym. They have like the Pilates studio. And I was filming in there because it was empty. And I don't really know how that happened, but I must have forgotten my camera behind my bag like when i went to grab my stuff i put my mat away i put my weights away and then i went to grab my stuff and then i went to the car i'm ready to drive home and then i was at a red light and then i'm like where is my camera and i 
try to look for it i couldn't find it on the console in the car i'm like waiting at the red light scouring through my gym bag and trying to find my vlog camera and i couldn't find it and then i'm starting to panic and then i'm like oh my god i have to do like a u-turn and go back to find it but in my head i'm like but it was an empty studio there was like me and like another girl and another guy so it's like no one else was there and it was empty like the ground was empty so it's like if i like when i was picking my stuff up i must if it was there i should have saw it and picked it up as well too so the fact that i took my stuff but i didn't take my camera made me think that someone might have took it but i didn't want to like jump into conclusions so i drove back very quickly and I sprinted upstairs and then a girl was coming out of the room and then she was holding my camera and I was like oh my god thank you so much because I did not want to lose this camera. I film all of my YouTube videos on my Canon G7X camera and I think all almost all YouTubers have this camera but it is, I don't want to say it is expensive but it's definitely like not cheap, it's around $500 so I did not want to like lose it and then have to go grab another one. Also, there's like footage on this camera that I didn't want to lose. I'm also doing a vlogmas and I didn't want to lose like on days where I don't have any camera. I mean, I can film with my phone, but it's just so much nicer to film on a camera. So I almost had a heart attack. I thought I lost it, but I'm so glad I have it. We're good. And yeah, but that almost gave me a heart attack. I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare right now. I'm gonna use the Good Molecules Daily uh, Brightening Serum. I am like almost at the end of this. I just wanna finish it. It didn't really do much to my skin, so I'm not gonna buy it again. I also ran out of my Vitamin C Serum. I need to restock on that. I used the La Roche Passe one, and then I also used the Skin Suitable one. Oh, I have my my vitamin C. It's right here. Yeah, I'm almost done with that, so I think I need to restock on it. But I also do want to buy the Skin Suitable one because I think it's the best so far. But I also like the Roche Posay. I love the smell of the Roche Posay one. It is so good. It smells like summery and citrusy. I absolutely love the smell of it. I'm also gonna add a couple drops on my skin from this Good Molecules Discoloration Correction Serum. This one also didn't do much for my skin. I feel like if you maybe have like hyperpigmentation or if you have like any discoloration on your skin this might help and lastly i am gonna add a couple drops from this ordinary niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc i am gonna put a little bit of makeup on just because i am meeting a friend well she's not really a friend i met her on um bumble bff i have been on bumble bff trying to just like meet new friends so we have been talking for about a couple weeks now and there is a place that she wanted to go try so we're gonna go there around like 6 30. so i'm gonna go get my nails done very quickly and then go meet her so i do want to have a little bit of makeup on and also do my hair and lastly so i'm just gonna add a little bit of sunscreen and then i am just gonna put a little bit of makeup on and the sunscreen i'm using is the ulta md i'm using the tinted version now my skincare is all done i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair very quickly i am gonna use the dyson just because my hair is a little bit wet from um the shower and I also want to curl it, so I'm just gonna use my Dyson. If you haven't seen my videos, I have posted, I think, two videos so far on the Dyson wrap. I almost got this two months ago, and when I first got it, I had very mixed feelings about it. I really wasn't sure if it was working properly for my hair type. If you don't know, I have naturally very curly hair, and it is very frizzy, so this was not getting rid of my frizz whatsoever like no matter what i did however i have been tweaking a few things around and i think i got the hang of it i will be posting a video very soon on it and on what i did to make it work for my hair so just keep on the lookout for that okay i just finished curling my hair i love how it looks i'm not gonna like brush it through or anything because i'm still going to do my makeup and I want the curls to hold as much as possible so I'm just gonna let them sit and cool 
just to help keep them stay longer but i love my dyson it's honestly worth every single penny and i know like i posted a video um talking about like how it wasn't really working for my hair but i think what i'm doing is working super well so i will post the video very soon to tell you what i did i don't want to put a lot of makeup on honestly i feel like lately i have been putting just way too much makeup on so i do want to start putting less i feel like with makeup less is better i am just gonna put just a tiny bit on just so i can look more presentable and I'm gonna start with my primer. This is the Rare Beauty, uh, I think, diffusing for diffusing primer. And um, I love this primer. It just feels so nice. It's not too heavy. It doesn't feel like silicony, um, like other moisturizers do or other primers do. I feel like this one is just nice to get your skin prepped and ready. I'm gonna go in with my concealer first, and this is the Ecosis concealer in the shade 04N. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit. For my foundation, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This one is in the shade medium. Like, this is honestly, like, my ride or die foundation. I just feel like it's just too... I just feel like it's not too heavy for everyday use. It's just easy, and I like the fact that it does have, like, SPF in it. Um... And we love that. And I'm using this Rare Beauty foundation brush. I got this during the Sephora sale and it is pretty good. Like no matter how good a foundation brush is, it's gonna always streak. Especially if you don't really clean it often. And I feel like that doesn't happen with beauty blenders. But it's just getting the beauty blender wet and before you use it it's just too much work and i don't have time for that i'm gonna go in with my bronzer stick this is the rare beauty and this is in the shade happy soul this is the best bronzer stick i've ever used like it's honestly just butter i love it and i'm gonna blend it in with this foundation or not foundation this is the um refi bronzer dual brush that I also got during the sale. I posted a haul of everything that I got during the sale and all these items were in it so if you miss that just go back and watch it. I feel like I got a lot of like really good makeup products from that sale. I spent way too much money but it honestly is so worth it especially if you're not gonna be really buying makeup anymore during the year i like to just like stock up during their sale time next i'm gonna go in with my pillow talk blush this one is in the shade pink gasm and i'm just gonna put a little bit on i know it looks like i put a lot but i didn't it just diffuses really well into the skin and just stick it up on the high point of my cheek and i'm also gonna go in with the highlighter and I'm just gonna dab a couple dots as well as at the bridge of my nose, my cubic bow. And I'm just gonna blend that in quickly. Cute. Oh, and I didn't do my brows. I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty Eye Pencil. I also got that during the sale. I am not entirely sure if I really like it. I still love my $3 Wet n Wild eye pencil. I just really feel like I find like this shape of the pencil like very hard to use it's just like it's too thick it, like and I like to be able to create like small strokes and I feel like the wet and wild one has like the perfect size to be able to do that and then with the other end of this pencil there is like uh, brow gel so I'm just gonna take a bit of that and just seal everything in there and I'm not gonna do any eyeliner I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use this mascara by Tarte um, Lights Lashes and just the tiniest amount on the bottom lashes. I have been obsessed with this mascara. I got it as a birthday gift like god like a year ago and I haven't used it. I didn't open it and then I was purging my makeup after I bought all that product from the Sephora sale and I found it and I started using it and honestly like 
I am like in love. It's such a good mascara. I don't know why no one really talks about it, but I love it. I think that's everything that I'm gonna do. I just need to set the under eye with a little bit of me um powder just so everything kind of just six days in place i'm just gonna take my charlotte tilbury powder and i'm just gonna dab the under eye area around my nose just to kind of set everything in place i feel like this is just perfect and very quick i feel like i always forget that step or at least i don't film it it's the setting spray i'm using the charlotte tilbury one last time i filmed um like a makeup routine i still forgot that step i swear to god i use setting spray i just don't film it okay don't mind the mess behind me but this is the outfit that i think i'm gonna go with honestly i just wanted to wear these pants because they're so comfortable but they also look nice the place that we're going to is kind of on the nice side so i just wanted to dress up a little bit but i didn't want to be over the top so i paired it with this like crisscross sweater i think i got this from beginning boutique if i remember correctly it has like little ties on the side and this full leather pant is from princess polly boots are from vince camuto sorry with all the slippers and uggs behind me but yeah these are from vince camuto they are heels but they're so comfortable so i think this looks pretty nice and i think i'm gonna use this bag as well so i'm just gonna put a few of the little necessities that i need to put in there i have most of my stuff in this bag but i'm gonna put some of the small essentials that i need in that other bag so i'm gonna like put this hand cream in the bag I'm also gonna bring these like eye drops as well because my contacts get really dry sometimes. This is my wallet. I have to bring that. Altoids. You always need to have some on you. And just like a tiny little perfume as well. I'm also gonna bring this Rare Beauty lip gloss. This is in the shade Nearly Apricot. I also need to put some jewelry on, so I'm gonna put my everyday rings on. And I also recently went to the mall and I got this ring, which is so pretty. So I'm gonna add that on this finger, or should I put it on this finger? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like the other finger, I feel like it kind of balances it out just because this is like very tiny. And I love wearing ear cuffs, so I'm gonna... Actually, I think I'm gonna wear this one today. I think it's cute and it kind of matches with the pant. And I think I'm gonna wear my Raymond while watch as well too. But yeah, I think this is everything. And oh, I need to put on some... Perfume. I'm using a Baccarat Rouge on. And I think that's it. I think I'm done. I need to go. the nail salon and i don't know if anyone feels like the same way but i don't find getting my nails done therapeutic at all like i know some girls like love to go because it's like self-care and i like that but i don't like to sit there for like an hour an hour and a half plus every single time i go i generally do not get what i was intending to get and i usually get like very simple colors i don't really like to get any like these fancy designs i just like very simple um colors that's just like my vibe so like it's not even hard to do but it's just like every time i just don't really get what i wanted and the person that i go to she's really nice but it's just like every time i feel like i argue with her but i 
need to find like another nail salon so if you live in the DMV area please let me know because I desperately need to go to a nail salon that I actually generally like plus I feel like you need to be friends with your nail tech because I feel like she understands your taste and then the more you go to her the better your nails are gonna look but let me show you like what my inspo and what I wanted my nails to look like so this is this is what I wanted like they are like this green very deep green color they're very nice there's like no sparkles and I'm very very simple but I really like the color I feel like for Christmas it was um, kind of the vibe and I feel like these are just not it like they I don't think they're like that same color I don't know if I'm just I am I going nuts like I don't know if these are the same color I mean this is green but I feel like they are just too green I don't know I feel like I feel like I'm just that's probably like my OCD just like kicking in but Nonetheless, I think they're still good. At least they look a lot better than what they used to look like because they were so grown out. Right now it's 6.07. I have plans to meet with um, the girl that I met on Bumble BFF around like 6.30ish. And the place that we're going to is around 24 minutes away. So I need to drive there right now so I can make it on time. But yeah. That's my little rant um, about nails, <laughs> but let's go. Do you know how to get to the hip flask? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, really? Oh, we're figuring it out together okay. then. She said there's a specific elevator in the hotel, but it's not the Marriott, because that says it. You go around the side along it's this one. Street, then you'll get to the front door. Oh, over here. So it's this way? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God. We're all lost. A sign or something. I know, it's so confusing. home it is 11 48 i didn't think i was going to stay out that long but i'm so tired but i had so much fun she is so sweet um i feel like we connect and we have like a lot of mutual interest and we talked all night i think we met like around like eight o'clock or like 7 30 and the whole time we were just talking and laughing she is also like very interested like in fashion and like makeup and like we were talking the whole night um about that and like talking also about boys so it's like nice to have a girlfriend that has like the same exact mutual interest like if you are ever on bumble bff or you're trying to make or meet like more friends you have to go through so many conversations and you have to talk to so many people until you find that one person that's gonna be like a good friend um we had such a great night we ended up ordering this like appetizer on the side and we ordered like two drinks but the appetizer was so good it was like toast with goat cheese and i don't know like it was just delicious and we ended up sharing it and it was really really good um i posted like a picture of the place on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram you should it's Gina Sal Marie. I'll have it linked below, but you definitely should. And I posted like a picture of the food and the drinks that we got. Um, it was just a nice, nice place. If you live in the DMV area, the place is called Hip Flask Rooftop. The bartenders there are the ones that make the drinks on the menu. Like they come up with like different recipes for different drinks and they actually put them on the menu. So our bartender made us one of the drinks that he actually made and it was so good it was like a mix of hazelnut chocolate and berry it was really good i'm really glad that i am meeting new people and like making new friends and if you are in a position where you are looking to make new friends like just don't give up just be friendly to everyone and like talk to everyone and you will find people who like you for who you are and just want to be your friend. But like, I am so tired now, so I'm gonna take off all this makeup and I am gonna go to sleep. So I just wanted to close out the video here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.